Hi, everyone. My name is Shaz Mian, a director in our data analytics CPM practice. Today, myself and Abdul Mohammed are going to walk through our fast offering powered by Profix software. Our demo agenda will be a high-level walkthrough of the following, dynamic dashboards and workflow, cash flow schedules, cash flow reporting with flexible and robust ad hoc analytics. I will start with the navigation of the home page. Over here on the right is a list of workflow tasks, starting with the data import process where clients will have the ability to schedule or run an import process as often as they need. Next are various cash flow forecast schedules, such as cash flow by day, AR by customer, AP by vendor, or headcount forecasting. We will walk through those examples a little later. If I scroll down, you will see my favorite section where you can see access built, cash flow reports by week or summary. Scrolling back to the top, you can see pre-built dashboards that visualizes a projected ending cash by week. Various bars show the different scenarios such as projections versus upside versus downside six months. If I scroll down, you will see another pre-built dashboard by week, but focused on cash flow infos by scenario. All the dashboards are dynamic and can drill up or down by click of a button. You can see here, I was able to drill down and see the dashboard by day. From here, I can drill up or launch the ad hoc analysis module for further slicing and dicing of the data. This is very similar to Excel pivot tables. This module gives you the ability to slice and dice the data in its raw form. If you look across the columns, you will see days going across and accounts by scenario in the rows. You will have drill down functionalities throughout the application. I can drill up to the weeks, or I can expand cash inflows to see individual accounts by scenario. If I expand the side panel, you can see the additional segments that allow for further analytics. If I want to see customer by scenario for customer payments, I can drag and drop. Now I can expand the customers to see the scenario. I will now go back to the home page where Abdul is going to walk through cash flow schedules and reports. Thank you, Shaz. Continuing on, today we are going to start off with our direct cash flow schedule. To launch the direct cash flow schedule, we launched that from the right hand pane workflow tasks. Within the cash flow schedule, we have a number of different things. So the first thing that we have is our beginning cash, our summary of cash inflows, summary of cash outflows coming to our ending cash. This gives us a bird's eye view of our cash balance. Now we can look at our kind of the items that make up our cash inflows, right? So within here, I have my customer payments, $10 million coming in on Wednesday, April 1st. If I scroll down, I can see I have an income tax refund coming in, et cetera. What I wanna do is come into here and say, I wanna borrow $10 million And if I scroll down, let's say I'm borrowing that $10 million to pay for roughly $5 million in investments. Let's see how that's going to impact our cash balance. As soon as I save the data, my cash balance should increase by the net effect of $5 million. As you can see, my cash balance went from 8 million up to 13 million. If I go to my dashboard and refresh my cash inflows, I can see my cash balance has increased. So if I double click, I can now see my cash inflows by day. And I'm able to see my cash inflows for April 3rd. Let's go back to our cash flow supporting schedules and let's start with our accounts receivable by customer by day. 
Again, to launch the supporting schedule, we'll simply click on the workflow task. From within here, what we have is we have our days going across the columns, our customers going down to rows, along with our AR activity. So I have my AR beginning balance, my total sales, and my customer payments to come to my AR ending balance. If I go to my left-hand pane and expand out the pages, I can see the various scenarios that we have within our dashboard. These scenarios are catered to our clients. So we have our projection, upside, what happens with a six-month recovery versus a three-month recovery versus a one-year recovery. So let's go back to Sportsmeyer Furnishings, and let's say I had $10 million in sales, and I want to remove this $10 million payment, and that's going to give us kind of a negative balance. And let's say I knew this payment was going to happen in maybe week two. I have a spending balance of $207,000, so what I'll do is I'll input that there. And let's say I have another sale coming up in week three for $2 million, $20 million. And then that payment will be received maybe in week four. So I'll say equals four. If I save the data, once we get to our direct cash flow schedule, we'll see how that directly impacts our cash flow. Moving on, let's go back to the dashboard. Another cash flow supporting schedule that we wanted to review today is our AP by vendor by day. This is going to capture our cash outflows. Again, similar to the AR schedule, I launch it by clicking on the workflow item within the pages. Same look, as, look and feel as the AR schedule. I can see the different scenarios that we have within here. What we have in the rows here is instead of customers, we have our vendors and we have our key vendors, which has our AP beginning balance, our total purchases, our vendor payments to come up with our AP ending balance. These total purchases and vendor payments are going to impact our cash outflows, thus impacting our cash ending balance. And I'm going through here, let's say I'm not gonna make this purchase in April, Maybe I'm not going to make this on a Sunday. I'm not going to make this on a Saturday, but maybe in week three to support my sales to sports buyer that we saw earlier. Maybe I want to purchase $3 million worth of $3 million. Got to get my zeros right. $3 million. Um, and as soon as I come into here, let's say I want to purchase another million. Now my AP balance is zero. If I save this, once we get back to our direct cash flow, we'll see exactly what impact that has on our cash flow. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And we will launch our direct cash flow schedule by day. From within here, as soon as I refresh this, since we've had this open earlier, I should see the different adjustments that I've made for our cash inflows and cash outflows. As I start scrolling to the right, and I'm looking at this by day, I can see now I have a week two customer payment of $10,100. Um, a negative payment there, a payment of $5 million, et cetera. As I'm scrolling through here, I'm glancing at my ending balance and I notice that I have a negative ending balance to start off with. What this is telling me is I need to acquire some sort of funding. Let's say I wanted to draw on my line of credit and I wanted to make sure that I was covering the negative $1.5 million there. So what I'm gonna say is I want a $2 million funding source and as soon as I save that $2 million funding source, we'll see our ending cash balance update. Our balance is now positive. What we want to do now is let's go back to our dashboard and look at some reports.
Okay, click on the dashboard. This is going to launch the reports. We'll look at the summary cash flow. What we have here is a nice visual that shows us by week for our different scenarios, what the beginning cash is, what are cash inflow, cash outflow, um, to come up with the ending cash. As you can see here, um, I'm doing really well by week for my projection, doing well for my upside, not doing so good for my downside. Let's see, I wanted to slice and dice this and look at my cash outflows by the different segments that we have within here. If I right click on this number, I can open up ad hoc analysis, which we saw earlier. And I can start slicing and dicing. From within here, what I can do is I can expand out my left hand pane, expand out my pages, and maybe I want to look at this by vendor for my cash outflows. I can then drill down into each individual vendor to view the payments. Let's go back to the dashboard. One additional report that will be available out of the box is our summary direct cash flow by week. This gives us a summary of the direct cash flow schedule against each of the different scenarios. What I can do from within here is I can export this to Excel and it keeps the same formatting. If I want to export it to PDF, I can do that as well. Going to go back to the dashboard and we'll refresh these to see what our ending cash balance is. Everything looks good. Let's go back to our cash inflows. Let's make sure that looks reasonable. Everything looks good. And that concludes our fast demo.